Okay, we're in the middle of a of a of a sugya. Let's take you back. Let's put this all together and, and uh we'll see where we're holding. The Mishnah described the case, guys, of a futures contract. Again, Midor Raisa, Midor Raisa Ribis is called Ribis Kitsutsa, where you set the ribis beforehand. I promise you, why don't you just go this way a little bit? Maybe I can see you. So you, you set you set the you set the ribis beforehand, and you know. I give many, many, many mistakes. Yeah. Um, no, many stay. Let's move over a little bit. He doesn't hear you. Anyway, so anyway, so you this this futures contract. So excuse me. So Ribis Katsuts is midderaisa. You lend somebody X, you get back Y. That's Ribis Deraisa. Ribis is such a shvera 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 inyan that the chachamim. Most of the ribis is ribis the rabbanon. The chachamim are very wary of it, and certain situations that go ahead and mirror ribis, they would say this also. Now remember, anything that's derech mekachu memkar is not ribis. It has got to be derech halva. It's got to be derech alone. But if it's if it's again if it's derech mekachu memkar business, then it's not a not a not a, a ribis problem. Good. So now. You go ahead. I'm to describe Ribis de Raisa, Neshech. It says Ribis de Raisa and Tarbis, which was really it's synonymous with, with Neshech, where he said it's over on two Lavim. It went ahead and said the case, it gave a case. Now, what was the case? It was a case of a, a futures contract. A futures contract is also for the following reason. If you give a person money to, to supply produce for X amount of time, right? And and there is, you can't get the produce now for one or two reasons. One, the price hasn't been set. Or two, the person you're buying it from doesn't have it. So now you're giving him money now. He has use to that money now for this period of time. And then if it goes up in price, it appears if what? You lent him this money and now you're getting more. You, you contracted out for 25 and you're getting back 30. So it has that schmeck of halva there. Why? Because there, there was it was unable for him to get it at the time of the of the of the contract. However, there are two providers. If at the time of the contract the shot is out and you have money, so this guy now can buy it now and give it to you now. Since he can buy it now and give it to you now, it's considered in your rishus already. So when it goes up in price, it's going to go up in price in your rishus. And therefore it's mecca from Mekra, not Alva. That's in, in your Yitzhala Shah. If the Shah went out, the pri price has been set. Another provider would be even if the price is not out. If the person that you contracted with has the produce in his his possession, so now you're bought, you, you're giving him money for, and it's considered the produce he has, you have. That's called yeshloi. Even if what you're not coining it, even yeshloi, it's considered yours. So therefore, so the two heterim for a, what we call pisik ala peris or a futures contract, the two heterim a lot are yotzer shar and, and yeshloi. Our Mishnah gives a, a, a an interesting case. It gives a case where a person had a contract for what for, for for produce, for wheat. The shar had been set, the wheat had gone up in price, which is great, no problem. Why? Since the shar was set and you gave him money, it's like yours already. Now you want to buy, to get your money for the wheat to buy wine. You go to the guy and say, "Listen, give me my money for the wheat, and I'll buy wine." He goes, "Listen, I'll take upon me a chayv, whatever I owe you for the wheat." To pay for the wine. So if he doesn't have wine, if he doesn't have wine, then what then? Then it's no good. And it's speaking when the shar went out on Yayin. In other words, the wine shar is out. So there's two two components. There's a, a, a component of a, 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 a heteridika co contract. And then add on to that is a contract a futures contract, but you didn't give any money. You didn't give money, you assumed the chayv. You took on the chayv as your payment. You know, I'll, I'll provide for you, you give me the chayv. You, give me, you pay me. Now, the shar is out on the on the ayin. Fred the Gemara, if the shar is on the ayin, what's the problem? Even Ainloy, even if he doesn't have the wine, we said a heter is, the shar is out. So, we had one teretz, the teretz of Rabba, right, um, the teretz of of Rabba, Rabba's teretz was some say it was Rava. Rabba's teretz was 
you didn't give him any money. What's the Svaro guys? When you give money and this guy, the Shire is out, you could take the money and buy something. Since the Shire is out, you know what the cost is. So th therefore I can view the money that you gave him as if you bought it. Mecca On the other hand, over here, you didn't give him money. What did you give? A chayv. So the fact that the shah is out is not my little murray. He doesn't have any money to buy it, to make it yours. That's that's the terrace of Rabbah. He doesn't have any money to buy it. Freg the buy a kasha on Rabbah. If you're telling me when the shah is out and you're not giving him money, it doesn't work. Afilu yeshloi, it shouldn't work. Because there's no money to be considered like you paid for it now that it's it's yours. Again, since it's only a chayv that he owes you for the yayin, it's only a chayv he owes you for the yayin, right? In that case, therefore, you're telling me there's no money for him to go ahead and buy, so therefore it should be considered even yesh like. So why does the Gemara say the reason why the contract on the yayin is no good is enloi, even if he had it, it also wouldn't be good since there's no money to go ahead and buy it. All, all you have is the chayv. That's the kasha that Abaya is. Because of that kasha, Abaya is it's not speaking whatsoever about what? About, about a, a, a futures contract. Abaya said it's speaking about why the case of Haramis Ribis, where you, he lent it to him, he brought it back, 24, 25, the case of Haramis Ribis. Robbie asked a bunch of questions on Abaya from the Mishnah. So we're holding by the question of if Yayin, if the second part of the transaction was a chayv, why would it help? In Yeshlai, it shouldn't help because you don't have any money. So we want to answer that question. Because clearly, if you did have the wine, it would be okay, despite the fact that there was no money transferred at this time. Good? That's the question we're holding at. Okay, says the Gemara. Two lines from the bottom on Samech Aleph, Samech Beis, on the base. El Amar Rava, Says Rava, Ki Shachivna Reb Oshaya, when I die, Reb Oshaya Nafik Levisi is going to come out to go ahead and he's going to go ahead and escort me into Oilam Haba. The Misratzna Mastisa Kaba say, because I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and answer answer the the Mishnah according to his Brisa. Says Rashi, Shani Rogel Etaris Mishnayish. I'm I'm accustomed to going ahead and being Metaris the Mishnayis. Sheshtam Rebbe. Shestam Rebbe Kebraisa, Shestam Shesosam Rebbe Kebraisa, Shesosam Hutakabase. So he was Shesosam, the Brisa is according to Rabbi Shaya. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead using something that Rabbi Shaya said in the answer of the Mishnah. Why the difference? Why Im Yeshloi, even though it's a Chayv, it would work. Rabbi, you listen to the, to the tape? You listen? You're good. Okay, great. Very hard. Okay. The Tani Rabbi Shaya. You have a, a, a claim on a person for money. He owes you $100. Again, I'm, it's not $100, whatever, it's 100 sous. He, he owes you what? He, 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 owes, he owes you... He owes you money. So now... Um, and now he comes to your threshing floor. But Amar, and he says, Tainli give me my money. Shani behem Give me my money that I want to buy chitin with. You owe me a hundred dollars. Give me my hundred dollars so I can buy chitin. Now this guy is by his threshing floor, and he just happens to be threshing chitin. But Amar Lo, he says to the the Malva, Chitin Yeshli Shani Right, I have chitin that I can give to you. Save us and alai kishash alashu. Go check it out. And I'll give it to you what, right? I'll give it to you at, at the price what it is now. So now, what are you doing over here, fellas? Is there any transfer of money? Mm -hmm. No. What are you doing? Are you, is this a futures contract? Yes. Mm -hmm. a few, I'm giving you, based upon the shower now, I'm going to provide for you throughout the year according to the price now. No, 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 no. It's not, it's, according to the shower now, no, no. He's going to give us a futures contract. But also, like a shah shall he's, he's, he's gonna, it's, it's a futures contract. He's committing to today's shah for the entire year. If he's paying him a hundred dollars worth of wheat for money, it's, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing yeah. about. So he's going to provide now, but again, it's similar to our case. Our case, he assumed the choy for wine, here he's assuming the choy for wheat, correct? Wait, wait, again. Again, 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 one second. 
Now, now comes the time to, to sell the wheat where it's its maximal price. So it went up in price. Give me my wheat that I want to sell. The lick and yayin and purchase yayin. Amaloi, you know what? Yesh the yayin shani noisin lecha. I got yayin. I'll give to you. Save us so on the like a shash Go ahead and provide it for the price of now. He gives my yayin limcha. And the amaloi, this guy's a commodity trader. Okay, tayli yena. Shani right so lemaicha. Give me. No, no, no. He's just he's just extending. He's extend. He's extending the loan. He's he's, he's extending. So he goes tayli. Okay, so he goes, give me my, give me my, give me my uh, wine so I can buy. Where am I up to? <laughs> yeah, Shani writes this. Say us like Shash Lachsa. He gives my yain limchar. I'm like, can't leave yain. Shani writes to the micro. Leave it by Shemin. Okay, I'm like Shemin. Yeshi Shani writes to Save us all like Shash Lachsa. Now, Hulam, all of these cases, Im Yesh Loi, if he has the commodity, Mutter. Now, in this case. If he has the commodity, it would be mutter. So, guys, this brisa argues on the previous brisa because the previous brisa mm-hmm. by his kasha was since the yayin was only a choiv, a filu yeshloi shouldn't work, right? But you see, Reb Oishi holds no im yeshloi even if it's a choiv, right? It would work. A filu yeshloi, it would work. So, memela, why would it work in yeshloi? Because I can view this. Look at Rashi, guys. Here's the key: yeshloi mutter. Look at Rashi. And we don't say it's not like money didn't come to his hands and therefore it's a halva. Where he has the commodity. Since the other person has the commodity, he's in it now. Even though he didn't do a Kenyan Meshich on it, he muk, you know, and we know Mois is not kind of, right? You'd have to do Meshich. When it goes up in price, it's going up in his rishos, ribis, and that's not ribis. Since if the the guy who gave him the loan, who who sold it to him, who, who assumed the loan and, and, as a payment, right? He wants to change his mind. It's what? It's 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 going to be mishapara. When he doesn't have it, then it's not like money is coming to his hands. The heik of the other lose would he give him money paisik as long as the shara is out? The afkav shein loim doesn't have it. The yachazel leknoisa be moish shekiblu he's able to to require it the moish once the shara is out. The the pitim with suyin loy hoyl viyotsa shar avaze in biyoday be mayik never demi lirivis. Okay, very good shmak guys. So, so now here it is. It, it's a lot of words, but it's the, it's the ter it's 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 kishmak teres. Guys, watch. Rav Oishia says the following. If a person owes you something, you can turn that choiv into a into a, a contract, a futures contract. Provided one thing. Yeshlai. A shower loan is not enough. You know why? Because, guys, why? For the shower, you'd need money. What's the svara of the shower being out there that it's not ribis? Since it's available now, he can take the money and buy it himself. It's considered his already, wherever it is. I, I'm i giving you money for the futures contract. The shire is out. You're going to provide it for me? The shire is out. I can go buy it myself. So you're going to buy it for me? It's mine already. But if you don't give money, you can't say that. If you don't give money, you know, it's a chayv, you can't say that. Frank the buyer, so if it's a chayv, you can't say yesh either. Doesn't make a difference. Says Rabbi no, it makes a big difference. What's the difference? This chayv, if you have the commodity, it makes that what the deal is done to the extent. If you would change your mind and not provide it for me, you get a mishapara, you get a klala. Now, why do you get a klala? Obviously, because I have what a yachas to this. So, my melu, when it goes up, it goes up in my rishos. So, now, guys, let's go up shot in Mishnah. Guys, I know that I'm not losing you. Come on, come back, come back. Let's go to the Mishnah. Guys, let's go up to the Mishnah. What does our Mishnah say? A Mishnah, according to Rava, is based upon Rava's answer. A Mishnah, according to Rabbi Ishiya. Rav is answering our mission according to Rabbi Yishia. Right. Why do Rabbi Yishia Mechadish that if you have a choiv and you have the commodity, then you can go ahead and make a futures contract. But if you have a choiv and you don't have the commodity, even though the shar is out, you can't make a futures contract. Because what? There's not even a Mishapara. So very gishmak. 
Our Mishnah, you did have a chayv, right? You had the chayv of the wheat. The wheat contract was perfect. The shower was out. You gave him bucks. You bought it. Everything was a kosher v'yasha. You now want to get your money to buy wine. You go to the guy and say, where's my money? Give me the wine. He goes, I'll go ahead. I owe you money. I owe you something. I'll transfer that chayv into wine. So now you have a chayv. But now, em yeshloi, great. However, the loy. He doesn't have it. And what's the difference between the shar and that? By the shar, you need money. By the by 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 Yeshla, you don't need money. Even a chayv, according to Yeshla, the assumption of a chayv could accomplish the Yeshla because you kabbal mishapara. Once you kabbal mishapara, it's in your rishus already. It's in your rishus already. That's the Hezbo of the Gemara, guys. That's the Hezbo of the Gemara. That's the Hezbo of the Gemara. It says the Gemara now. Uh, Abba Rava, Shema Mina Midereb Oshaya. Remember, now guys, if you call him Yeshle Mutter, again, in Yeshle, that's the key. Amarava, Shmami no Mirava Shaya, Tlas. Shmami no, the Maimid Milva Agabe Paris, the Loy Amrina and the Loy Kisur Badiadahu. You can have a, a, a contract on Paris, on a Choyv. And we don't say what, that it's not that money came through his hands, not like a Bayez Brysa. A Bayez Brysa, what? You needed money to come. And, and Paris doesn't do the job, the Chiv on Paris. Here you see you could. Shmami no who the Yeshloi that's provided one thing that what Yeshloi Shmami no is the Rabbianai. We find the Rabbianai's case now. Let's go through this one second. This guy kept on piercing along. He pierced along from the sun, chitim to wine to to shemen. He was he was moving down the line, right? I missed something over over here. Yeah. Chitim to uh, yeah yayin shem yeah yeah okay three. So he pierced it along. Now the question is, the question is when. He went ahead and say, I don't have wheat. I, I don't, I, you know, I, I, you want your money to buy wheat? I'll give you the value and you'll buy wine. The value is can be cash. That value can be cash. And we don't say it's like rivers. He gave money initially. And now over here, there's money being transferred. We don't say that. We don't say that. Says the Gemara. This wheat, the commodity, fine. He he needs the commodity at the time of the deal, but again, the chayv itself. Let's say we give him cash, that he give him money. That we'll view that commodity that the, the chayv is cash. That's that's the next case. That's Rabbi Yannai. That the Amr Rabbi Yannai Mali Hain. What's the difference? The commodity itself, the chitin, Mali Demayan, or the value of the chitin. We don't make a difference between the two, either one. Did Mar Rav Amar Oisa Amona Beperis. Rav says you can make an amana, guys, as a trust. You know, the, a, a trust is like a futures contract. I trust you're going to keep your word. I think that's pshat. Amana means I trust you keep your word. So you can make an amana of a amana bedamim. In other words, you can get back, you can get back the produce. You can't get back the cash for the produce. Fellas, I make a futures contract, right? I the, the shire is out. Or yeshloi. Good. I give you a hundred dollars to provide. 10 bushels for 10 months, right? You're providing a bushel a month. At the end of 10 months, you're going to give me, it goes up in price till it weighs $20. You can give me $20 worth of produce or can, says, Rob, but you can't give me $20 because then it appears like it's rivers. I gave you 10 and you're giving me what the value of the produce is 20. So says, Rob, guys, you hear? If really, it's worth 20. You could sell it for 20. He just can't give you 20 because that's similar lot to the rivers. Rabbi Yana Yemen, no. Mali Hain, what's the difference if you give the value of the, the object itself, the Paris itself? Mali the Mayan, and what's the difference to the Mayan? Now, in Roshia's thing, he went from wheat to wine to Shemen. So look at Rat, look at Tysus, guys. Dom Rabbi Yana, Mali Hain, Hachitin, Mali the Mayan, Kigoin Yayan. In other words, the value, but in a commodity, in Yeshlai, Kach Pirish Rabbeinu Shmuel. Says Rabbi Shmuel, fellas, you won't be able to give back cash. Says Rabbi Shmuel, you won't be able to give back cash, fellas. You'd have to give back what? You could give back another commodity, its value, the value of the wheat in another commodity, but you couldn't give cash. The ain't near Rabbi Tam. Says Rabbi Tam, you could give cash. Something we all saw, guys. Rabbi Geisel, Gabi Rafkahana Zav and Kisna. Rafkahana bought Kisna. He bought. Flax. And the half of me is that why that he was kind of the flax. 
and it went up in price. And Zavnua Marvasa Kamoi. And the master that he left it by sold it. And he wants to know, can you take the money? Because it went up in price. Can I take the money? If at the time they sold it, they said it's what? It's the flax of Kahana. Sure, you could take the money. The bottom line is, what do you see? You could take the money. You see, Baba Kami, you could take the money. So the Baba Kami is saying, guys, this is, you could take the money. Shmami no. Again, we're learning from here that this, this that you can, in fact, according to Rabbi Yanai, he argues on Rav, you will be able to go ahead. The value would even be in cash. So in our case over here, let's say he would say, give me my money. I want to buy Chitin. And he says, I'll, I'll take for Yayin. And then he takes the money for the Yayin to buy what? To buy Shemen. And this time it's gone up in price and it appears like it's ribbis because going back to the original amount of money is is, is uh, less than he's getting back now. It doesn't make a difference because we say, Mali Hain and Mali Demeyim, that's the Machloik Stun Rav and Rivyanai. Rav does not like let you get back for a, a futures contract cash, and 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 Rabiani does let you get back future contract cash. Mesa, we're going to ask on Rav now, guys. We ask on Rav again. Rav says you can't get back cash. We're going to ask on Rav. Mesa, we. Kulam im yeshloi muta. Kulam, all of them im yeshloi. If there is to him, it's muta. Now, what do you see over here from Rabbi Shia? Well, we ask him. We say over here that what here it's he's getting back value. According to Rav, right? According to Rav, you shouldn't be able to get, get back value, says Rashi. We're asking for Rabbi Oishia. Rabbi Oishia says, 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 And here, here, he's getting back money. Here's Rashi. We're evaluating the worth of the chitim. We're evaluating the worth of the chitim. And he's getting giving out wine more than it was valued. He never acquired wine from him. So Rashi explains the kasha. It's, it's it's since he's going ahead and upping the ante because the value of the wheat went up. He's getting value. He's getting money. That's the kasha on Rav. Again, what's Rabbi Shia's din? You owe me a hundred bucks, right? You, you owe me you owe me a hundred bucks. So he says, right? Because uh, uh, give me wheat. He gives him wheat. Comes along later, give me wheat. He says, yeah. That transfer from wheat to yayin is the may. Because it's much more than what then he gave. And nonetheless, we see that what? You can make a, a, a piece of with the may, with value. That's a kashan rav. And for the Gemara, Amarav Huna, Amarav, Ishemoshach. Rav is speaking where you made a Kenyan already. In other words, he made a Kenyan on it. So therefore, it's in his Rishus. So when it went up, when it's Rishus. Now again, we know the first the first machloek is in Perakazov, by the Moyes Kainis or Olay. Rabbi Yochanan says, yeah, Rabbi Shlakir says not, but Rabbi Yochanan says, Mid Rabbanon, you need a Kenyan. So it's big, it was a Kenyan. So when it went up, it, it's his that went up. So Ibishem Masha Tzrichel Meima, El Goyen Sheyichel Ekeren Zavius. He went ahead and, and he, he, he put it in a corner. It looks like a Kenyan and it's not like Ribis because he goes ahead and puts it right in the corner. So Rashi says it's not merely Mashach as a Kenyan, it's Mashach to show bilis. You know, he's, he's dipping in his own Rishus. It just makes it more, more that, that it's his, and, and therefore it's not a ribbis problem. And then the Yichud, the, the caring that Rashi says that Yichud Milsi, be a place for it, a unique place, a special place for it, is, is something. Okay? So that's one way to answer the Kasha from Anrav. Again, that's like Kasha, guys. Let's get the Kasha straight. You, Rav, say uh, you can never get money back. You have to get back exactly what you contracted for. You contracted for wheat, you get wheat. You contracted for honey, you get honey. So it says over here, no. You can contract for wheat, get back something else, and you're getting value because it's changing all the time. So what's one teretz? They made a Kenyan over there. So when it changes, it's changing in your rishos. Or you, you yach at a place, it's changing in your rishos. It's going up in your rishos. Therefore, it's again, what's the key? It's similar to Mecca Chumemka, and it's not similar to, to, to Ribis. That's the key. Shmulam a little lamb the Shmulam Bunji, you're gonna like this. Ushmulama. How money? Who is the Tana of Reb Oishia's Brisa? It's Rebbe Yehudahi. The Amat Sad Echad Beribis Muta. One side of ribis by ribis the Rabbanon by ribis the Rabbanon by ribis the Rabbanon Sad Echad Beribis would be what would be permitted. Okay, now what's Sad Echad Beribis? It says no guarantee the ribis is going to take place. 
you don't know what's going up. You don't. You know. Okay. So again. So so yeah. So yeah. So so damn. We don't. If you don't hold like Rabbi Yehuda, it's Sadaqa Beribis, right? So now, here's the Sadaqa Beribis, guys. Outside. Got your old guy a thousand bucks. Say, listen, I don't know if I'm gonna get my money together. I tell you what. Here's this field. If at a certain point, after a certain point in time, I don't pay up, the field is sold to you. The field is sold to you. Good. So let's say he gives him a month to get the thousand dollars together. During that month, who eats the payers? During that month, who eats the payers? So let's go through the two stadim. If the meicher, the loy, in this case, the loiva could eat the payers, no problem. Why not? Why not? He can't eat the... Why shouldn't he be able to eat the Paris? What about the Lekeach, the Malva? If he eats it, and at the end of the month, you pay him back your thousand bucks, you got the thousand bucks plus the Paris. And what does it look like? Ribis. Now, is this Mutter or Rasa? If you hold only the Moicha could eat it, so clearly you must hold Sad Ribis, is what is is a problem because there's no guarantee that's going to come to ribis if he pays up the loan there's no problem guys again if he makes the sale fellas if he sells it and he pays up the loan there's no ribis whatsoever the only ribis shiloh ribis would be is if he doesn't pay up the loan and the guy ate the pay risk and now the guy's getting the field nimsa that what for the loan that he owed in the money he's getting what the house which is paying the loan plus the produce Plus the produce. So says Rav, Rav Yehuda, the Lakeach, the Malva would be able to eat the Paris. Why? Because Sad Echeb Rivis Layamrinan. We don't say that. So says the Gemara. The Tanya. Hari Shonoisha Bechaveri money. You're making a claim on your friend for a mana, for a hundred. The Yosloy Sadeo Mecher. And he makes this field a Mecher saying that if I don't pay up the loan, the field is yours. As long as the loiv is eating the Paris, that's okay. But if like in this case, the mal is eating the Paris, asa. Why? Because if he doesn't pay it up, if he doesn't pay it up, then the field's going to be, if he does pay it up, then nimsa the field belonged all the time to the loiva, and, and now it's ribis. Even when loikeach eats Paris, is muta, right? It's not a problem. And then it's not a problem. So this is the this is the case over here. So I'm learning you the mice of a vice has been zoned the shots of the mecher, a peer of a loss of an asaya, like a hecker paris. So you I'm a lot. They told him no, me shamra is no Ryan Michael like a pair. So it wasn't the malva, it was the loy that was in the paris. So now, how how does Rav how does Shmuel answer Rav in the case of a shaya? In the case of Rabbi Shaya, had he paid with wheat, right? Had he paid with wheat, there wouldn't have been any Shaila Ribis whatsoever. The only Shaila Ribis takes place, according to Rav, when he starts substituting money. Guys, guys, outside. We want to answer up Rav. How does Rav learn in Pshat in the Rabbi Shia's Brysa, right? Rabbi Shia, Rav is a problem. In Rabbi Shia's Brysa, it says, as long as Yeshla, it's Muta. But one second. You're not paying back with you're paying back with cash, you're paying back with value, you're not paying back the actual produce. Says Shmuel that Rav Oishia's Brysa guys is according to Rabbi Yehuda, who says Sad Echa Beribis Loyamrinon. Let's say you went ahead, you took money, you wanted to buy wheat. He says, I it's a loan, there's a loan. I owe you. Give me money, I want to buy wheat. He says, I'll give you a, a I'll give you a contract down on wheat, and the shah is out. Can you do that? Yes. What happens if you would have paid him wheat? Would there be a problem? That's the key. The only problem would arise once the meat becomes yayin. Says says Shmuel, Rav learns pshah Rav Aishia, is according to Yehuda, who says, Sad echad ribis is muta. There's no guarantee it's going to be ribis. If he would just stop by the wheat, it's not a problem, right? So Manela, that's why it's not shvar and Rav. I hold Sadre Echa Beribiswat is Taka Asa. This price that you're telling me the May works is a going according to Rad, according to Rabbi Yehuda, going according to Rabbi Yehuda. So two to Rutsim, right? 
two truths about the answer. One, there was miyachid, it was a kinyan, and therefore it went up in the brishus of the of the of the of the of the of the, of the malva. It went up in his brishus. Or secondly, what it's speaking about where it's tzedakah beribus. My binayu, what's the difference between the first shot that said that with the Amuloi Reb Yehuda and the, the other one with Tzad Ribis? Um, so Amar Abaya, in other words, why can the Loikeach eat according to Reb Yehuda and why can't he eat according to the Amuloi? So Tzad Ribis, it could be Nayu. According to Reb Yehuda, the Loikeach, the Loikeach, the Malva could eat because Tzadach of Ribis, Loyamrinon. And according to the Amuloi, they had said no. Only the Meicher ate, only the Meicher ate, the Leiva ate. Why? Because Tzad Echad Beribis Aminon, meaning uh, it's still Ribis. Rav Amanoi, Ribis Amanas the Hachsa could be Nayu. You know what the Shiloh is, guys? Whether you have to return the fruit or not. Another light, 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 Reb Yehuda, light, Reb Yehuda, right? You could go ahead and and eat the fruit. The Meisel, you could eat the fruit. Why? Because if it turns out to be Ribis, because he. He forecloses, he, he he doesn't pay back the loan, he'd have to pay back what? He'd have to pay back the ribis. The, the Malva would have to pay back the, the, the Paris. And therefore, since he could pay back the Paris, he could eat it. And according to the Amruloi, we don't say we don't say he has to pay it back. Since he doesn't have to pay it back, right? since he doesn't have to pay it back, then we won't let him eat it in the first place. That's the basic one. Okay, so what did we see this evening so far? We saw we saw our Kasha and our Gemara, our, our Mishnah. What was the Kasha and the Mishnah? Why do you care? I feel ain lo yayin. I feel yesh lo yayin. Since what he's since he's what he's not. Since the shar is out, and since the shar is out, and there's no transfer of money, it's a chayiv. It shouldn't help. So we learn a chadish that Rav said in Rosh No, if the chayiv is out, and as long as yesh lo, it would work. Any nothing. The shar is out. It doesn't make a difference. It's not going to make a difference because you don't have money. But if you're paying back with a chayiv and yesh lo, they'll view it as a, a mishapara, and therefore you be chayiv, and therefore that's it. We now digressed a little bit to Rabbi Yanai. The Machloek is Rabbi Yanai and Rav. Not digress, but I'm saying uh, change gears. Mm -hmm. uh, Rabbi Yanai and Rav, according to Rav, if you make a, if you go ahead and make a, a, a futures contract, I'm going to provide for you uh, wheat at X amount. The wheat goes up and the shar is out. The wheat goes up in price. He can't give you money because that would appear like Rivas. You gave him money in September. He's paying you back in in uh, May. Uh, the price of wheat in May, right? And it looks like Rivas. You gave him this. And since you waited all that time, According to according to uh, no according to Rav Yana, you could give back the May, you could back give back value. We ask on from the ratio on Rav. He has and he has two terutzim. Either it's speaking where a Kenyan was made or, or was close to a Kenyan that showed by he was miyak in a place, or it's going according to Rav Yehuda that said echad beribis amina. Amar Rava hashda dom Rav Yana yomid beis. Now that Rav Yana said mali hein mali the May, and what's the difference if you gave. Uh, a choy with Paris, and you get back money. Amrinon, mali the mei, mali the mei, mali hein nami amrinon. What's the difference, what if <clears throat> if you get a, you're going to give Paris, or you're going to get back money? At the time of the pesuk, at the time of the of the transaction, the business transaction, if the moicha has the Paris, or just the money given to him by the lekeach, that's okay. Why? In other words, he doesn't have all he has is money. Why? Because then, again, as long as he has money, he's going to be able to go ahead and buy based upon the shuk. The Afapishain Laiv doesn't have. So, this is what we call that. If you give him money, guys, you don't give him Paris, you give him money, right? As long as the shar is out, you're good. Kasher is like, so it's a Mishnah later on, not Iron Base. Rashi says the Mishnah later on. So, Rashi says the different Sharim, the Chidish over here is that what? That even the earlier Sharim, where the price is not as stable. So the Kasha and Rava was, Rava said, you need Paris and the Shah is not enough. Rava said, you need Paris, the Shah is, it's mashma, guys. It's mashma. Rava said the following, even if you don't have values, you have Kish, you can make it, you, you can, as long as the Shah is out. Mashma over here, in order for it to, the, it to work, what do you need, guys? In order, the Baishi said to make to make a contract, you need a payris. You're taking the wheat and you're transferring it to this, thus, and thus. But you're not taking money, not taking money if the shah is out, it's not enough. In Yeshla, you need Yeshla. So Kashan Ravu says, I feel ain't loy, 
Afilu ain't if the shar is at its good. Amalhu hasam alva. Tachas vina. It's a big difference. But Rabbi Yishia was alva. You lent. He owed you money, and and you lent him on that money. You lent him chitim, and on the chitim, the chitim, the chitim, you lent him yayin, and on the chitim yayin, you lent him shemen. Over here, but however, it's a sale. When it's a sale, you're buying initially. You have money. You're buying produce. Then you don't have to have produce. You can use cash as long as the shar is out. My time on Rabbanan paiskan al shar shubeshuk vavu sheinloi damalei. What? So the Gemara wants to. What's the reason the Rabbanan say that if the shar is out? Even if he doesn't have, guys, he can't, he can't provide it for you now. So, fellas, if he can't provide it for you now, why is it not halva? Right now, he doesn't have it in his possession. You're giving him money. He tells you the following. He tells you 10 months from now, I'm going to give it back over X amount of time. He has use of this money for X amount of time and is giving it back later on. So, how, how does that work? How does that work? So, the Gemara says something, the Gemara says something very interesting. Once the shah is out, if I have money, let's say I'm going ahead and dealing with Rabbi. Rabbi is a commodities trader. He's selling me wheat. I'm going to give him the money. And he says, Rabbi, I'm going to provide for you X amount. Okay? Now, do I need Rabbi if the shah is out? I can go to Dove. I can go to Meilev. I can go to any, any commodities trader in the world. So he, it's not like he's doing me a chesed. Like he's, he's lending me the money and giving me back at, at a better price. Since the shah is out, it's like what? It's like my, we view it as if what? It's mine already. Because I could have got it from you, 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 and you. That's what the Gemara says. Says the Gemara. I tell Ravavi, listen, take your good, your favor, you do me a favor by giving me a lower price now for the future, because I'm giving you cash now. And throw it on thorns. That seems to be a popular statement. Maya, hmm. honestly, Rabbi Avi, what good are you helping me? Right? If you give me back my money that I gave you, I would have gone to other places and buy it cheaply. So, in other words, that's why if the shar is out, it's not considered halva. Of ribis, guys, it's not similar to a of ribis because once the shah is out, you can use that money anywhere. Rabbi, you can say something. Well, what's not good with you? He's buying something. It's not. It's not halva. It's this mecca chamemka. He's buying something. He's taking. I'm giving you money. I'm buying. I'm buying something. Once I buy, now you owe me. There's there's a difference between lending money to pay back money. And something that this is mechel chumemka that's similar to halva. It's not halva. It's mechel chumemka. It's ribis derabbanon. Remember, it's ribis derabbanon. We're avoiding because any similarity to halva, but it's not mamish halva. It's business. I'm buying something. But having agreeing to deliver it over a period of months. Okay, good. And maybe you don't have the warehouse storage to keep all of it now. You need a hundred pounds. Again, you have to provide for me as long as right now I can view it as if it's mine. We're good. Get about storage or going up or down in price. It does. It doesn't. It, right again. The sad echa uh, Right. Yeah, if you, we obviously doesn't hold sad echa I mean, obviously, if it goes down in price, you know, it, it's not going to be similar to ribis. But I'm not sure. Again, I have to think it through. But I'm not sure. But the bottom line is, it's not a kasha. It's not a kasha. Milvoloit sudden it means that I want my money back. So your uh, money back. Milvoloit sudden it's not the same money or. You can't be Makada Shanisha with, with that because you didn't give her anything. So because Mobilite Sutton in there. But over here, this is Mecca Khamemka. I bought I bought something. And and if if the shar is out, it's considered like I couldn't get it by you, I get it by him, him, and him. So therefore, that's the svar over here. Again, Shokal to Vusko, you did me a favor by giving me a cheaper price now, because you're having my money now. The Shadiak Siri throw it on the thorns. Damalay, I can tell Rababi. Uh, the the, the only by Rav Yosef, if this if this svar is correct, Elameata, then muta little by saw saw. It should be able to muta to go ahead and borrow one saw for another saw. What does that mean? One of the concepts we're going to see, guys, in this parak is, I you can't borrow a bushel of wheat. I'm going to ask to be paid back a bushel of wheat because if it goes up in price. It's ribis. I'm you're not buying it. I'm lending it to you. I'm lending you. I'm lending you a bushel of wheat, and you're gonna pay me back a bushel of wheat. Good. That's it's that's mirsi karibis. Yes, it's mirsi karibis. Now, if that's the case, if that's the svara you're telling me by uh Hoysale Shar, I, I can't buy it for you, I can buy it for somebody else. I have a similar svara to Matir Sabisa. What is that svara? Let's see. I have a similar svara to Matir Sabisa. 
Shokila to Vasech, take your 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 goodness that you Vishad Yachsiri, Domale, Chiti de Kodoki be Achliva, right? The Malva can say to the Loiva, the Malva can say to the Loiva, your Chitin that I could have stored in it, in, in, I could, I could have like sprouted in the rain. I know it seems to me, Rashi says, I could have avoided it, I could have put it away, and it would have got more, more in what? In my house. In other words, why did you do me a favor? You lent it to me now. If it was by me, it's still the go up in price. It would be in my warehouse. Just like in your Rishus, it went up and I'm getting paid back. So once you're telling a Svara what, what could be, right? So I'll say the same Svara over here. I'll put it in my warehouse and we're going to have a price over there. So then sub is such should be mutter. On that we say, what's the difference? Over there, sub is so is the case of a halva. It's much more similar to ribis than the case of mekahu memka, which you have to stretch out to make it what similar to halva if the shar is not out. That's the difference between the two. Now, you're telling me the svara. That what that I, I could have said I could have said to Ravavi, listen, I would have said sell it here, I would have sold it over there. Ravavi's doing me a favor. He said, I don't have to go look for a middleman to go sell my wheat. I don't have to look for a middleman to sell my wheat. He's willing to take it. So I could tell him why why does it work when the shah goes out? It's like I can tell him I wouldn't bought it from you, I would have bought it from you. Not so push it. I would still have to pay if I don't buy it from him, I'm gonna have to pay the price of a middleman. I'm gonna have to pay the price of the broker, right? So therefore I am saving money. So I should not be able to tell him what, you know, I could have bought it from somebody else. So I'm a lay, the Koyovle Nami, uh, the, the Koyovle Nami. In other words, that, that's factored into the price. The Ravavi is the price of the Safsira of the broker. Ravashi Yamana, Susi the Inshin Inu Abdile Safsira. You know, when it comes to money, they'll find you. <laughs> if you have cash to spend, Guys, everyone who's selling wheat is going to find you. You do not need a middleman. You need a middleman when you don't have cash to spend. When you have cash to spend, they're going to find you. So therefore, if Avi's not saving me anything, therefore I could tell Avi, listen, you're not doing me a favor. If I, my, I give me back my money, I'll find someone to take it since the shire is out, and therefore it's not it's not ribbis. Okay, a little easier, Gemara, now. A little easier. Rabbi Rabbi Yisid, Rabbi Shabayu, Haiman de Yov Zuzay Atar Kharifa. Now there's different Sha'arim there's more set prices and less set prices. The earliest price is when the first, first farmer finishes his crop, the earliest guy. So he's selling his stuff. His price is not set so much. So when a person makes a deal, he may not be so um, slimeth on the deal. When the price is set across the board, you make a deal, that's the price. But when it's early, you never know, the guy may vacillate a little bit. So says Rabbi Rav Yosef, it's not necessary for smichas das for the following. He has to go down himself to the threshing floor. He has to go down there to the threshing floor, and then the person, the farmer who's selling him that at that price, will then go ahead and sell it to him. Because why? Because he knows for sure that what that the deal is done, or else he wouldn't bother coming down to the threshing floor. In other words, the moich is going to have smichas das. Now lemai, him going up to the threshing floor, ilamikna. If to make the Kenyan that that you're you're being kind it alikana. Guys, we know that to make Kenyan metal you have to mashika. You going down and showing your face there is no better than giving him cash. And Mois, we say Mois is not kind of Midrabana, like Rev Kyachnan. Ili Kabuli Allah Mishapara. And if it's the be Makabu Mishapara, that if the guy goes back on the deal, then he's gonna get a Mishapara. If the Micha goes back on the deal, Kilo Miskazi Nami Makabala Mishapara. Even if you don't go down to the threshing floor, he's gonna makabala mishapara. Right? So it doesn't why so why are you going down to the threshing floor? What's it doing? It says Gamar Loilam the Kabul Mishapara. Enochinami. It's the Mikab Mishapara. Umandi of Zuzi at Tara Kharifa, if a person gives it what to one farmer on the early price, the bait tray betilsi yov. He also goes down to what? You know, in other words, he goes to gives it to two or three people. Again, at this point in time, the price is not stable, nor is the quality been affirmed yet. So he'll give it to multiple people, and then he'll decide which one, right? Which one. So you're a farmer, you know when this guy's coming to you, that the deal is not naturally done. because He's giving it to other people as well. If he shows up at your threshing floor, then the farmer is going to, the, is, the farmer in this case, the moicha is going to be and then he'll get, then he'll be mishapar if he goes back on the deal. The Eloi, and if not, then there's no mishapar at all. Because Amalei will say, "I mean it." The Ashlich Peri is Shapir Midi Midi Bishakalt. 
Maybe he went right. He went to another place because again he's giving it to two or three people and he finds it right to a person that is right is he wants that person better. So the guy does not, not even tie him to Shapara because the deal was not necessarily done. The deal was not necessarily done. I'm Ravashi. Ashta the Amit. Now that we say Mishum Mismach Taita, the reason he goes to the threshing floor is to be slain with Das. I feel Ashtay Bishuka, even if he finds him in the street, Vamale, and he tells him, I want you, then some Khadaita. In other words, if it's not, it's not go. going down to the threshing floor is just as to give a, a little confidence to the Meicher that you're going to buy from him. So if you go ahead and tell him, then he's slain Das and you'd have Mishapara. From Rab Nachman, follow the Revisa. The rule of ribis, kol agar notar lay asa. Any time the schar is waiting for him is asa. Kol the revi the revisa the kol of ribis, probably the most important line in this in this in this mm-hmm. parak, is kol agar notar or not to lay asa. Any time the schar is waiting is asa. Let's see Rashi. Kol agar notar lay by five lines from the bottom. Schar hamtana, the schar for waiting. If it'll be cheaper for him for waiting, so in other words, why would I go in a futures contract now, guys? Guys, why would I give you a futures contract now? Because right. I'm going to get a better price later on. The schar of giving you money now to wait. Agar notar. My agar is what is waiting. If I yeshloi, then it's mine already. But if it's not, then the schar of going ahead one and waiting. There's always a very interesting shaila. These these early bird specials. So you get a yeah. discount on an early bird special by giving money early. Why is it not what? Why it's not ribis? Why it's not ribis? Okay, I'm gonna. I, I forgot the tariffs, but I'll, I'll 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 get it to you. The chayyur based upon this, right? You're getting you're getting rewarded giving the money now. They have use of your money now for what for for the later time getting a cheaper price. You're getting a cheaper price now for 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 later. It's a very, very, it's a very good question. So, that that's <clears throat> that is aganotar. Well, let's say what's a classic aganotar is ribis. I have use to your money now, and therefore, at a later time, I'm willing to get, reward you by giving you more money. That's that's aganotar. That's classic ribis. Okay. Okay. A person gives money for wax because of dalav dalid. It goes for dalit for I don't know a sheet of wax. Hey, hey, I'll give you a better deal. I'll give you for five for a dollar. I'll give you five instead of four. If he has the wax, sorry, less also. So If he doesn't have it, it's aganotar. Correct. I'm, I'm giving you what? I'm giving you at the cheaper price to have the money now. If he doesn't have it, right? So it's classic aganotar. So what? So if he has it, then it's yeshlei. What's the finish? He doesn't have it now, but he can get it. In other words, he has a contract out with somebody else that he's going to get from the other guy. He, he has a contract out that he's going to get from the other guy. So, the Tema, even the Islay Ashroi Bemasa, Ke Ad Shayavai Bini, Oyat Shemsam Apeyak Dami. We're going to see later on in the Parak, guys. Let's say you have it, but it's locked up and you lost the key. In other words, do you have to own it or do you have the physical accessibility to it? Access to it, right? So we're going to see later on. Even if you don't have physical accessibility to it, right? It's considered okay. So you might think that since this guy owes you wax, you could sell it because you have what? It's considered accessibility, like a locked door. Hamash Malon, that it's mechusa gavina. It's still not in your jurisdiction, right? It's just not. This you don't have anything. You don't have access, and it's not yours. Says the Gemara. Even the mechusa gavina, since it's missing, you're missing the actual collection of the wax. Kimanda less nudami. It's like what? It's like it's not there. Stuff. Okay. Sphere. Yeah, sphere.